So when we speak, we have to coordinate hundreds of muscles in our mouth, in our neck, and in our lips in order to move our tongue, our lips, and our larynx to the different positions that correspond to the different sounds involved in speech, just as I'm doing now. Now we do this many, many times a second as we have to move the tongue from one position to another. But most of this is invisible to us. While we can see the lips, you can see my lips while I speak, you're unlikely to be able to see how my tongue's moving or, or what's going on in my neck. And imagine if you could see this. Imagine if you could peer into the mouth and look how the tongue moves during speech. Well, we're here today in one of our phonetics laboratories where we do exactly this. And we use a range of different technologies to try to understand how the tongue, lips and larynx move while we're speaking. And one of the examples we have is ultrasound. Now, ultrasound is, is just like the ultrasound you'd find in a hospital, the sort of thing you might use for a pregnancy scan. Now, I have an ultrasound machine behind me and I have the probe here. And this probe sends out very high frequency sound. And if we put it under the chin, the high frequency sound reflects off the surface of my tongue. And on the screen behind me, you can see my tongue moving. You can see the dance of the tongue as I speak. And on your right, you should be able to see my tongue tip, ta, 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 ta. And on your left, you should be able to see my tongue back, ka, 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 ka. So we can use ultrasound to look at how the tongue is moving while people speak, which gives us this deep and unique insight into the dance of the tongue and the broader movements of the vocal tract during speech.